Anyhow, No Man's Sky. Yeah, you'd be surprised with its atrocious launch, the game would end up like a wasteland, but no. A rare exception, I say. This game launched with random planets with buggy wildlife and space stations. That's it. They said Sean was very anxious and got locked into say maybe and yes during interviews. Most of the staff at the studio were introverted. They didn't have the financial ability to hire a spokesman later. Their office got flooded and they were already overworked. But how did No Man's Sky survive? It should have died with all these things encountered. Well, it's rare with these games, even today, with just examples like Battle for Neighborville and Spore, they launch the game half fast and don't fix it, just abandon ship and do something else. Do you like how both of these examples were EA games? Anyhow, No Man's Sky was different. Sean looked at Twitter and started listening to reviews. He wrote down things to change, and he did. In all honesty, this is an extremely mature take on a bad situation. I can't even make a haha funny of it. By this point, the game has more than they promised on the launch. I'm gonna section this stuff. In space explanation, yes, we have random encounters, pirates, freighters, crashed freighters, scary alien stuff, traders and phone calls. In planetary exploitation, we have plenty of structures, world monoliths, whoa, bunch of miracles, bits, underground stuff, crashed stuff. People, homes, robots, even bigger robots. In base building we have crafting stages, crafting station upgrades, a lot of cool decorations, trophy, lamp, uh, uh, a fully programmable electric grid, storage, space station, visitors, subnautica, oh and you know, it's all multiplayer. Yeah, they fucking fit, did it. Oh, but it's an exploration game. It earns all real point, there is there. Shut up! Cause you are wrong. There is a story now, and your choices matter. If you talk to other characters in the story, your dialogue changes based on your choice of words. In my humble opinion, that's pretty cool. Got not really much to spoil here, I, I don't even want to spoil the story. You will feel sad. You will feel existential. But it's okay, because you're having fun, pet the raptor, yay! I'm a bit being positive right now, in all honesty, it's sickening. So let's get over the problematic parts. The fucking water shaders are broken! It looks like I'm dry. I'm not even in the water, but I should. Most bugs in No Man's Sky are visual, and if most times if you do something dumb, then it will piss off lock here. But literally, just try not to get under a spaceship, or if you do, just wait until that damn Viking lives. God damn Vikings. But overall, it's pretty damn solid. Graphically, it's beautiful as long as something is made for people. Uh, 7 out of 10, enjoy yourselves.